Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about Hacktoberfest. So this fest takes place in the month of October every year and it's a global event. So in this event, if you participate in it and you are able to complete it, you will get a t-shirt and some stickers. And the t-shirt I'm wearing right now is from this event. I got it by participating in this event last year. So if you participate in this event and you complete it, you will get a packet delivered at your home free of cost. You don't have to pay a single penny for it. And in, this, in that packet, you would have a t-shirt, some stickers. So all you need to do is participate in this event. In this event, you have to do two things. First, if you don't have a GitHub account, you first have to create your GitHub account. The second thing is to register for the event. I'll mention the link in the, in the description. I'll mention the GitHub link also where you have to first sign up. Then I'll mention the Hacktoberfest link where you have to register. So once you, have, you are done with that, whenever you make a pull request, it would be like counted towards Hacktoberfest. Last year, my friend also participated in it, but he couldn't get the t-shirt because he didn't register for the event. So don't do this. You have to register for it and you have to make at least four pull requests. Now, for absolute beginners, I would like to suggest you that rather than uh, taking uh, very complex projects, you should first take projects which are done like by, senior, like by your seniors only. So you can ask your seniors, you can, you know, see their GitHub profiles and and you know you can understand that project the benefit you will get here is that if you don't understand that project you have your senior there so your senior can explain that uh, project to you so you know for beginners it's the best thing that i will suggest uh, see your projects which are done by your college seniors and ask them to explain you then you can you know make pull requests to it and eventually you that would be counted towards uh, hacktoberfest apart from that if you are a kind of person who, who likes to explore more things or you are more experienced towards the technology that you are using, I would suggest that you should contribute in some bigger projects and some bigger organizations. You just have to see the project and go through it, try to make some change, make a pull request and then you would be done. It would be counted towards Hacktoberfest. Then once you are done, it, you, will, you can check your progress. Uh, it, it would be available in the Hacktoberfest official website only and once it's done then you just have to relax you know you'll get a mail that you will receive a t-shirt and stickers now delivering of t-shirt and stickers uh, may take time depending upon where you, you are living uh, my seniors who lived in US they actually told me that they got it in just a few days or maybe a week but here uh, in India I got it like around Feb so yeah i participated in october and it was delivered in around feb so just have patience and you know you will get all the delivery uh, reports that it is departed and it has uh, you know reached india and or your country so uh, so be patient and now i'll just uh, walk you through the website uh, to show how it works so let me walk you through this Hacktoberfest website. I'll provide the link in the description. All you have to do is click on that link and you would be directed to this page. So this has all the information that you need to, you know, go forward uh, and, uh, you know, make an attempt in this fest. Now you have to click on start hacking. Then you would be directed to a page here. You have to do your uh, login and all and accept some conditions and uh, you are done. Then whichever request or pull request you are making in the month of October will be counting towards it. Now it's saying that, you know, it would start counting from 1st October. So since today is 29th September while I'm making this video. So if I make any pull request right now, it wouldn't count it. It would, it will count pull requests made only in the month of October. So it's very, very necessary. You register yourself right now and then, you know, start making pull requests. So if you see the participation rules, it's written that, you know, at least four pull requests are required. Okay. So you can make these uh, pull requests between 1st and 31st October. And then, you know, you can earn a t-shirt and a lot, lots of uh, stickers. So that's how it works. Also, there is another thing you can, you know, click on events and you would be landed on this page. And you know, this shows all the events that would be taking place uh, for this fest all around the globe. Uh, you know, you can see if it's in your country and it, 
and it's in a nearby place then you can you know go and attend it uh, they will provide you a good information on how it works and how you can make a you know a pull request if you are new to github and open source organization so this is my github uh, repository you know you can find your senior if you are basically beginner you can see the projects that they have worked upon uh, these are the projects that i have worked upon you know these are private so you can't uh, see there that you can only see this because i have uh, logged in here so you know you can see the projects that they have made uh, public and then you know you can just uh, participate in that so let's see a project uh, so this is a programming contest basically i conducted in in hacker earth i made questions for it so you can you know go through the readme and see how it works and what are the prerequisites which are required here you can go through the project then all you have to do is press fork here and this will you know uh, make a copy of this project in your repository then you know you can just straight away go to a part of code uh, let's say this is a question and a solution is here you know you can improve it add comments to this code make it better so after you know editing it in the copy which is created in your account you know you can go ahead and uh, start a pull request then after making a pull request it would be counted in the have to buffest now then it depends upon the person who basically made this project to merge or or either reject your request so it depends on them but uh, you just have to make a pull request right now okay so that's it so you should not start with this uh, hack to buffest and you know you can make a pull request to my uh, projects also uh, i showed you the uh, coding on this uh, repository also and there there are some other repositories also uh, i particularly code in java so all the problems are solved in java you know you can come up with a c++ solution python solution c, ha c hash solution uh, perl ruby or any other in any other language and you know you can make a pull request even in that also i'll be happy to merge it so in this way you know you can you know, really participate all you have to do is just get started and i'll say that specifically for first and second year students you should participate in it because uh, it would you know teach you uh, how open source uh, works and how you know you can uh, contribute to these uh, projects so if there is any query you can ask in, in the comments i'll uh, be happy to answer them you can you know mail me if you have something uh, pers uh, something that you want to ask me personally and i would be happy to reply so that's it that's about uh, this video i would be signing off uh, right now best of luck